from WFRV-TV, Green Bay, Fox Cities, and the Lakeshore. Your stories in our community. This is Local 5 News. When a kid can check the water themselves. Well, I believe in mining. It gives a lot, feeds a lot of people. It kills a lot of babies. On this Earth Day, emotions ran high regarding a controversial mine known as the Back 40 Project. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shelley Botant. Aquila Resources has secured three of the four permits needed to begin mining for gold, copper, zinc, and silver along the banks of the Menominee River in Michigan. The Canadian-based company wants to dig an 83-acre open-pit sulfide mine within 150 yards of the Menominee River. Opponents worry about the mine polluting the river and damaging sacred burial grounds. People supporting the mine believe it will boost the economy and jobs. Aquila Resources spent the last 10 years working on the mine while putting $70 million into the Back 40 project. However, Local 5's Steve Dent found out anti-mine protesters still question the third permit that regulates water that will go back into the Menominee River during mining operations. Shelley, the Menominee River ranks number 10 on a list of America's most endangered rivers for 2017. Well, people have grown frustrated, so today they band together to have their voices heard. No back 40! No back 40! Demonstrators marched from Stevenson Island in Marinette over the Menominee River and into Michigan. What better way to celebrate Earth Day than to protest a mine? Um, I'm, I'm here. I'm concerned with the water. <laughs> because the Menominee River flows into Lake Michigan. And we all live downstream. And an open pit sulfide mine has people worried. We cannot let this happen to our people in our area. Please give us a hand and help us stop this mine. This is where the Ogden Club. There have been efforts to raise awareness. This is Aquila right here. Now that everybody's mad, now that everybody's aware of it, what are we actually going to do about it? Now the goal is to unite from 72-year-old Menominee resident Ed Smith to stop the mines to people from Wisconsin and the Menominee tribe. We're all here for maybe different reasons, but our end goal is the same, is to protect that river and all of the wildlife that doesn't have a voice. And cyanide does kill. And now we find out that Aquila can check their own water. And that's ridiculous. That's a conflict of interest. We have to get a hold of our reps and tell them, what is wrong with you people? But the realization has sunk in that this group believes they will get no help from the government. Michigan state government has proven again and again that they don't care about the Upper Peninsula. So it's our job because this river runs like a backbone through our community. Amen. I talked with Steve Casey of the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality. He told me when it comes to treated wastewater that goes back into the river, Aquila will self-monitor and self-report, while the DEQ will audit and perform surprise inspections. Steve Dent, Local 5 News. All right, thank you.